children, my name is Rachel. It's lovely to see you again. Let's start our letters and sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Later in the lesson, you'll need some paper and something to write with. Do you want to get that ready now? Well done. Okay, let's begin by reading some phonemes that you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. Have a look. This first card says A. It is a digraph. Two letters, one sound. And this digraph says E. Now it's your turn. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. A, E, I, O, O. Now I'm going to mix the cards up so they're in a different order. And I want you to read the graphemes on the cards aloud. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. U, O, I, E, A. Well done, super sounds. Now let's read some words with graphemes we already know. I bet you can read these words easily. Have a look at this one. Can you spot the digraph? Two letters, one sound. Yes, the digraph is M. Mm. Read each sound, then blend. M, mm. E, eh, M, mm. them. I love grapes. Do you like them? Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is O. Read each sound, then blend. G, O, T, goat. Goats are more picky about what they eat than people realise. Have a look at this cheeky goat eating some food. Let's try another one. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is U. Read each sound, then blend. F, U, D, food. My favourite food is spaghetti. <gasps> Delicious. Okay, final word. Can you spot the digraph in this word? Yes, the digraph is oo. Read each sound, then blend. K, oo, oo, cool. I think I look pretty cool in these sunglasses. Do you agree? Now, can you read the words on the cards without? Sounding out, off you go. Let's check, read them with me. Them, goat, food, Cool. Super. Well done, children. Today, we are learning a grapheme for the phoneme uh. 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 Copy me. Uh. 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 Now let's sound 
talk some words with a phoneme uh. Copy me, say the sounds, and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. Ooh, uh, k. Ooh, uh, k. Your turn. Ooh, uh, k. Look, what can you see when you look out of the window? Copy me, say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. Your turn. H -uk. Hook. A hook is useful for hanging things like your coat or bag. Do you have a hook like this to put your coat on? Let's sound talk our final word. Copy me. Say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. F Foot. Your turn. Foot. Foot. I banged my foot on my bed yesterday. Ouch. Have a look at this. Copy me. A hook a book. Oh, look. The mouse is holding a fishing rod with a hook on the end. She is trying to hook a book. I hope she manages to get one. Let's say our catchphrase again. Ready? A uh, hook a book. Did you notice the uh sound in our catchphrase? Let's say it again. Listen out for words with the uh sound. Say it with me. A uh, hook a book. Did you hear the uh in hook and book? Great job. The sound uh is written like this. It's a digraph. Two letters, one sound. Let's read the grapheme for uh. Say the sound uh each time I show you the digraph uh and say hook a book when I show you the picture. Remember, uh, hook a book. Ready? Great reading of uh. Let's add a uh, hook a book to the other cards. Oh, have you noticed? This grapheme looks the same as this one. So we've got a uh, hook a book and we've got ooh, zoom to the moon. So this grapheme has two sounds. When we see this grapheme, we need to remember to say both sounds, oo and u. Uh. Let's practice. Oo and u. Uh. Now do it on your own. Excellent reading of oo and u. Uh. Let's add the grapheme in with the other cards. Make sure you look out for it. I'm going to mix the cards up and I want you to say the sounds when you see the grapheme. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. A. O, O and U. Uh. Did you remember them both? I, E. Well done. Super sounds. That was excellent. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme.
In all of the words today, this grapheme says uh. Let's read our first word. Remember what a digraph is? Two letters, one sound. Can you see the digraph uh? Yes, here it is. Say uh when I point to the digraph. Ready? And again. Super. This says uh. Say the sound as I point, then blend and read the word. Now let's read the word together. Uh, uh, k. Look, look over there. Good job. Let's read another word. Have a look at this one. Can you see the digraph uh? Yes, here it is. Say the sounds as I point, then blend and read the word. Now let's read the word together. B -u -k book. I am reading a very exciting book. Good job. Let's read another one. Remember what a digraph is? Yes, a digraph is two letters, one sound. Can you see the digraph U? Uh? Yes, here it is. Say the sounds as I point, then blend and read the word. Now let's read the word together. K, U, uh, K, cook. Tonight I am going to cook pizza for my family. Yummy. Time for another one. Can you see the digraph U? Uh? Yes, here it is. Say the sounds as I point, then blend and read the word. Now let's read the word together. F, U, uh, T, foot. You kick a ball with your foot. Ready for another? Yes. Can you see the digraph U? Uh? We got it. Yes. Here it is. Two letters, one sound. Say the sounds as I point, then blend and read the word. Now let's read the word together. H, uh, k, hook. It is fun to try to hook a duck at the fair. Have you ever seen that? I've got a picture to show you. If you ever go to a fair, you might see something that looks like this. It's a game and these are all ducks. You have to lean over with your hook and try and hook the duck. If you manage to do it, you might win a prize. Ready for another? Yes. Can you see the digraph U? Uh? Yes, here it is. Say the sounds as I point, then blend and read the word. W, U, D, wood. A wood is a lot of trees growing together. Have you ever been for a walk in the woods? These children look like they are having a lovely time in the woods. Now I'm going to mix the words up, read each sound as I point and then blend when I sweep my finger under the word. Off you go. Well done. Read them with me. Let's check you got them right. F, uh, t, foot. B, uh, k, book. L, uh, k, look. K, uh, k, cook. H, uh, k, hook. 
wood. Wood. Amazing. We are on fire today, children. Now we are going to read some tricky words. Have a look at this one. Well, the first bit is easy, but the second bit is tricky. This says oh, and this says z. When I read it, I say o, z, was. Now read the word with me. Ready? O, o, z, was. Awesome. Now read it yourself. What's the word? Sorry, what was that? Yes, the word is w, o, z, was. You know how to read this tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bits? Yes, the first tricky bit is that we can say this digraph f or th. Can you remember the other tricky bit? Yes, this says a. Uh. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Th, a, uh, th. Now let's read them quickly. I'm going to mix the words up and I want you to read them aloud. Off you go. Read them with me. The was. Did you get them right? Super. Now let's read a sentence with graphemes we already know. Can you see a word with a digraph uh? Remember a digraph is two letters, one sound. Have you got them? There's more than one. Yes, this word has a digraph uh. And this word has a digraph uh. Can you see a word with a digraph o? Oh? Yes, this word has the digraph O. Oh. Can you see a tricky word we read today? Have you got it? Yes, this is a tricky word, the. And look, there it is again, the tricky word, the. Good spotting. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words you are not sure of. Off we go. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. Read with me as I point to the words. Look at the goat in the wood. Let's read the sentence one more time. Look at the goat in the wood. Fantastic, well done. Wow, let's finish by spelling some words because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You need some paper and something to write with. Are you ready? Okay, let's spell two words with the sound uh. Let's spell good. Segment the sounds with me. Good, g, uh. D. Let's count how many sounds there are. G, uh, d. That's three sounds. Watch me write good. I need three sounds. G, uh is a digraph. Two letters, one sound. So I need to write two letters. G, uh, d, g, uh, d. 
good. Okay, let's hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word, say the sound, and write them down. Don't forget the digraph uh. Two letters, one sound. Keep going. Okay, you ready? Let's check our spelling. Show me your spelling. Let's check mine. G, uh, d, good. Did you get it right? Well done. Let's try another one. Let's spell look. Segment the sounds with me. Look. L, uh, k. Let's count how many sounds there are. L, uh, k. That's three sounds. Watch me write look. I need three sounds. L, U is a digraph. Two letters, one sound, so I need to write two letters. L, U, K. L, U, K. Look. Okay, let's hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word, say the sounds, and write them down. Don't forget the digraph uh. Two letters, one sound. Keep going. Okay, you ready? Shall we check our spelling? Show me your spelling. Okay, let's check mine. L, U, K. Look. Did you get it right? Well done. Okay, now let's spell a tricky word. We can read the word was, so now let's spell it. Segment the sounds with me. Was. W, O, Z. Let's count how many sounds there are. W, O, Z. That's three sounds. Watch me write was. And remember, it is tricky because A says O and S says Z. Can you remember that? First bit, easy. W, and we need an A for our O oh sound. W, O, oh. and then we need an S for the Z sound. W, O, oh, Z, was. That's what yours needs to look like. Let's hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word, say the sound, and write them down. What are the tricky bits? The O oh sound is written with the letter A and the S sound is written with the letter S. Write them down. How are you doing? Are you ready? Should we check our spelling? Show me your spelling. Let's check. W, O, Z, was. Did you get it right? Well done, children. You have worked so hard today practicing your reading and your spelling. I am so proud of you. And I can't wait to see you next time for another lesson with letters and sounds. 